this thing here is kind of being a pain in the butt as far as the original wiring harness goes it's not being as easy as I thought it was gonna be I essentially thought I'd be able to get rid of all these components all these plugs but they all have 12 volts going to them so you can't just chop them off you've got to make it where they're not going to short out so what I'm going to have to do is check every wire for 12 volts if it doesn't have 12 volts I'm going to cut it and I don't really have to worry about it um, but the ones with 12 volts I'm either going to utilize for something else you know I got to power up the computer for the LS motor I'm gonna have to have some accessory power for that too so some of that maybe I can use some of that but I've got to essentially go through every wire and keep whatever's got 12 volt power it wasn't just pull a couple wires and only have the lights and heater work because it's all entangled together it's all daisy chained together so nothing easy all right I think we got this about as done as we're gonna get for now let me show you what we got this side over here is pretty much clean of any harness I do have three wires coming out of this grommet so this is our lights got this grommet three wires coming out of here this is uh, AC power so when you turn the key on 12 volts I got three wires there so if I need to do those something with those for the motor we can do that over on this side I don't have any wire loom right now but this is what I essentially got this cleaned up to see if I can get this is the relay that was in here. I'm gonna leave it in and wire it up for now. Uh, says fuel pump, main relay, check relay, horn relay. And then this is lights. These relays I'm not really 100% sure about. I'm gonna leave those in there until we get the motor running. These two wires here, I'm assuming go to the ignition. They, uh, when you turn the ignition all the way to on start, they get 12 volts. Uh, these two wires here are constant power, even with the vehicle off. And these two wires here are AC power, so when you turn the car on to the on position, they come on. And then these are ones that originally go to the battery. So we got quite a bit cleaned out of here, harness wise. We may clean some more out. We just got to see what, what we got to have to make the motor run. But we have lights. Uh, horn was working. I may have blown a fuse or something. Lights. The uh, heater blower works. Hazard works. Turn signals work. So everything we needed for the body is working. All right, let me show you what we're working with. The gas pedal. We took the uh, throttle cable pedal out, the stock one, stock Nason one, and we're going to put in the drive-by wire pedal. So here's our pedal. I built a bracket, small bracket, metal bracket that it bolts to. And this metal bracket is going to weld to a spacer that I've already welded inside. I had to cut two bolts that were holding the original gas pedal. And then I welded in. It's hard to see down here. It's hard to get down here. Hard to weld down here. It's not the sexiest weld, but it is going to hold. So now I have to weld my pedal to that spacer. I've got to figure out where this pedal is going to go 
in relation to the other pedal and to the floor. So that's next. Alright, it's a different day. I think it's supposed to get up to like 101 today. Anyways, we're gonna kind of scuff this up, engine bay up. Gonna go over some of these loose rust spots, get as much of that loose material off. I'm just hitting everything with this scotch pad material. Kind of scuff it up a little bit and we're gonna clean it up and paint it up. Uh, go over this frame a little bit get any grease off paint it black and we're gonna go over this red with some rattle can red This here is an eyesore. Let's see if I can get my shadow out of the way I'm just gonna bypass that right now um, I'm thinking about getting a battery tray a new battery tray and welding it in there and doing rust repair there, but I'm not gonna do that today. So right now. I'm just gonna bypass that Current temp is 92, feels like 107. That's ridiculous. All right, we're not going for perfection here. We're just going for better looking than what it was. Okay, so I taped up, half butt taped up some stuff. I'm gonna paint the original red, red, and the original black, black. Okay. Boo boo. All right, folks, that is it for now. It is too doggone hot out here to do any more work right now. Like I said, that's still rusty and crusty. I'm gonna cut that out and probably weld in some kind of battery box. But the rest is good enough. Obviously got overspray on some stuff, but we're not worried about it. It was strictly just to make it look better than what it did.
All right, let's see if I can get in here. All right, this is taking a while, okay? So we painted the engine bay. Pretty sure we got that on camera. Um, what we're doing here is we took out the crusty area where the old battery was. Welded in some sheet metal. I gotta weld in a little couple more pieces. And we bought us a battery box holder off of Amazon. All star performance off of Amazon, 46 bucks. I used the box to make templates for my sheet metal I welded in here. And this battery box is going to sit somewhere in here. So that's what we're working on. It's been a little slow going. It has been hot as all get out. And on top of that, uh, about a week and a half ago, the evaporator coil in the house went out. So we had no AC for eight days during the heat wave, Mississippi heat wave. So that was fun. Had some friends bar let us borrow some portable air conditioners that got us through. Wasn't as nice as having the regular air, but we got through. Then after that happened, my hot water heater went out. So I got that fixed. And now the uh, aerator for the uh, septic system's out. I gotta repair that. So everything seems to be breaking. So we haven't spent a lot of time working on this. It's been hot anyway, so. Let's get back to it. Installing this, and I think that'll be the end of the video. Uh, I need to get some content out. I wanted to get the motor back in so we can see what it looked like with the nice clean engine bay, but I think we'll save that for another video. All right, there she is. Sheet metal work done. Battery box welded in. Now we just gotta clean it up and paint it up. All right, we're gonna call that a wrap for this episode. Got the engine bay cleaned up, painted up for the most part. I gotta come back and do some fine tuning. Uh, I ran out of red paint. I got this in primer and painted what I could of it, the battery tray. Hopefully next time you come back, we will be putting the motor in for the last time. Motor and transmission in for the last time. Thank you for watching. Project Sin LS Swap. Stay cool.